Good morning everyone. I hope your day is off to a wonderful start, but before we get into the devotion, I want to say thank you so much for commenting on yesterday's devotional video or watching it or sharing it. Yesterday I asked you guys just to comment below with a simple amen, and a ton of you guys did that, which is really powerful. It might not seem like it because it's such a simple action. It takes, what, two seconds to write in amen and hit enter. But a lot of you guys also shared it. The video yesterday was seen by thousands of people. And when that happens, I get messages, Faithbox gets messages telling us things like, the video just popped up on my feed, my friend shared it, it was exactly what I needed this morning. So those comments, when they, when they don't seem like much, and those shares, when they don't seem like much, you're actually reaching people and sharing God's word with people who might need to hear it, which is phenomenal. And having all those comments below and all those amens, it's really a testament to, to the word more than just me speaking. So huge thank you for that. It's a really simple, easy way to have an impact in the morning just by sharing or commenting, but it does have an impact and I thank you guys for, for helping us do that yesterday. So when you hear one of the devotions, if you like it, if you feel moved by it, share it, comment below. It can be a simple comment like amen or it can be more in depth if you wanna share, share more feelings or how we can help you down there or message us directly if you have questions, comments, or whatever that you don't feel like sharing publicly. We are all a community and we are all in this together. We're all doing it for God's glory. So keep that in mind and let's go ahead and get into another devotion today. For he chose us in him before the creation of the world to be holy and blameless in his sight. In love, he predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has freely given us in the one he loves. That is from Hebrews chapter two, verse 11. He chose us before the creation of the world, before earth even existed. God said, you are going to be my sons and daughters and you're going to be blameless and you're gonna be predestined through Jesus Christ to be saved. That is super powerful. This scripture is reaffirming that we are sons and daughters of Christ no matter what. We don't have to actively pursue this goal. We don't have to go out every day and think, I need to become a son of daughter of Christ because we already are sons and daughters of Christ. God already said that before we even existed. He said, you are a son and a daughter of Christ. The thing that we have to do is we have to be open to receiving that. We need to claim it. We need to own it and make it, and make it our own. Historically, and I don't mean like 1990s historically, I mean like way back historically when there was no cars or AC or smartphones historically. The personal decision you made and what you strive to do is be a member of your community, your church community, the Christian community, and that community was the community that held you accountable and reaffirmed you that you were a son or daughter of Christ and whenever you felt like you were, uh, again to use Lisa Turker's term, uninvited, or you felt like you were drifting away, it was that community that pulled you back in. They were there to remind you who you are, that God had, had made you in His image and that you were beautiful and filled with grace. And the reason I really love this scripture is because I feel like that is what communities are for and I feel like sometimes we forget that, that our communities are so powerful, whether it's our Faith Box community online with all of you guys commenting the other day and sharing it and and sharing the word with people who you probably didn't even realize it affected them because they messaged us or, or Faithbox and you brought those people into, into the community and reminded them who they were. Or if it's your more physical, tangible church community wherever you live. Those communities are so important when it comes to building God's kingdom and living in grace and, and having a support system around you to put you up on a pedestal when you need to and to hold you accountable for things when you, when you need that. God didn't make us to go through this life on our own. Even when he made man, he made woman so there would be two of us because none of us should be alone in this world and communities are so important. Today, think about the communities you're involved in, whether that's a Christian community like Faith Box, your church family, or something outside, maybe like the community at work or at a hobby that you have. All those communities are important. How can you make use of those communities to root yourself firmer in the spirit, to root yourself more in Christ on a day-to-day -day basis? Or alternatively, how can you help someone else root themselves in Christ through these communities? 
All this talk of communities makes me incredibly grateful for you guys and the small fellowship we get to share in the mornings through everyday faith and just through the comments and, and messages and prayer requests and everything that we receive from you guys. So keep it up. Remember, we are all in this together and we will see you tomorrow.